Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor," I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember brought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow, from my books, surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore. For, for the rare, rare and radiant, and radiant maiden, maiden, whom the angels, angels look named name Lenore, Lenore, nameless, nameless here, here forevermore. forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more." Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming, dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the darkness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see, then, what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. But the raven, sitting lonely, on the placid bust, spoke only. That one word, as if his soul, in that one word he did outpour. Nothing further than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. On the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the then bird, the bird said, said, nevermore. nevermore.